What's going on everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your alerts for kick. Now you're going to be using bot tricks for this. So if you go to bottricks.live, the link's going to be in the video description below as well. But if you go to that, you're going to see the screen here and it's going to ask you to log in with one of these four options. So for me, I'm going to use Twitch as my login. And then once you're logged in with your Twitch, you can then come down here to kick. And then that way you can then link it. It's going to ask you a few different things like making the moderator or for bot tricks to be the moderator for your channel and stuff like that. It's, it's very easy, straightforward, but once you get through that, then you're going to come over here to the left hand side and we're going to go to alerts. Now, if you're familiar with how Streamlabs does their alerts, then this should be no struggle at all. Now, if this is your first time setting it up. It's very, very simple still. And I'm going to walk you guys through that. So you're going to have these different tabs here, subscription, gifted sub, followers, rate, tip, bits. All right. And then up here are going to be where you can test those alerts to make sure everything's working fine. So down here, you want to make sure that it is going to be active. So that way the alert actually works. If you're not going to be using any of them, then you can uncheck that and it won't do anything i mean even if you like don't have subscribers like if you're if you're not affiliated with like twitch or if you're not affiliated with kick or anything like that then these won't even work because there's no sub button for anyone to click on all right so you can still keep it active if you want to but then you also have styles so you can choose different styles for how everything's going to look there's not too many to choose from i just leave it at default for your provision you can have the image and then the text underneath. You can have the image to the left, text to the right, or you can have the image behind the text. So I like to have the text on top of the image. That's why I choose this one. Then you can also have the duration be changed for how long the alert stays on the screen. You have different animation effects like fade, slide, zoom, rotate, flip. So whichever way you want to have it. For the pictures and sound, if you have your own custom alerts, you can upload your own custom alerts and alert sounds, or you can use what they provide. So clicking the green button allows you to upload your own blue button gives you the option to choose from like what they have and stuff like that. You can, you can adjust the volume. You can change the text if you need to, if you have like certain branding or anything like that. You have different fonts that you can choose from. Not a whole ton, but it does give you something to work with. You can mess with the text height, different animations, font size. You can change whatever it's going to say for that text, for that specific alert. You have the appearance of the text. I just leave it as it is. And then if you know any of like HTML, CSS or Java or anything like that, if you click on custom code, it's going to give you this letting people know that, Hey, don't just paste any random link that or random code that you get online because you don't know it could do like data theft and stuff like that. But if you know how to do your own coding, or if you have one that you've been using on say like Streamlabs, then you can paste it here. And then of course you can save settings or you can import alerts. So if you're going to import alerts, it's going to tell you this year that the alert import pop-up allows you to transfer alert configurations on other platforms to your current platform or restore default. Simply select import or restore option in the pop-up following the instructions to complete the process. So you can pull them from say Twitch or YouTube. And once you do that, it's then going to pull the alerts in for you. It should be very simple and not hard to do. And then if you wanted to go back, restore to default, you can restore to default and there you go. So. That is pretty much how you set it up and you're pretty much going to follow that all the way through on all of these like nothing's really going to change and then for tips they will um it says these are direct donations through paypal this is probably like the only setting change i guess and then for bits it's a little different too but there's not too much of a change now, once you have all that set up and saved and everything like that, you can hit the preview window here. It's going to open up a new window and you can test these to make sure it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump one step further. and We're going to bring this into our encoder. So we're just going to hit copy, 
I use OBS Studio. So what we're gonna do here is create a scene. We're gonna hit the plus, go to browser source. You can give it any name you want. Click okay. And then we're going to paste that link in and we're gonna test one. And just like that, that is gonna be your alert. You can move it around, you can resize them however you want. And then, you know, keep retesting it, see where it needs to go. And that's it. That is how you set up your alerts. It's very easy to do, no headaches. But if there was any confusion anywhere, please let me know in the comment section below and I will do my very best to try to help. But if you found today's video helpful and you're wanting to learn more about the tech side of streaming and content creation and stuff like that, be sure to go ahead and check out the channel. And if you like the content, definitely subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. It definitely helps. But that is everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for your time and watching. And make sure you take a look at the playlist here. This is going to be everything that I know about Kick. I'm constantly adding more stuff to it to try to help you guys out. And if you have any questions or if there's anything you would like me to add to this playlist for Kick, definitely let me know and I'll see what I can do as well. But thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.